Hey everyone, so if you all remembered, I took a bit of a vacation, but I wanted to make some videos about some topics I missed, and one of them was Boogie2988's WoW stream. But before we get to that, I gotta talk about Boogie in general. Hold up, are we talking about Boogie? Yup. Oh boy, there's a lot to talk about with him. No shit, I don't even know where to start with this guy. I might be able to help you with that. Who the hell are you? This is one of our agents, the Data Detective. He specializes in collecting information on people on the internet. He will help you make this video. Shall we begin? Alright, let's see what you got. Very well. Boogie2988 started his channel on April 5th, 2006. Currently he is sitting at 4.47 million subscribers. And his oldest video is 13 years old. Boogie gained popularity with his character. Francis, an over-the-top redneck character that raged out in video games and often destroyed video game peripherals. It was a popular character, but as Boogie's channel grew, he began to switch to commentary videos. This became the major focus of his channel. He also mentioned his traumatic past and horrific upbringing. Nowadays, Boogie is called numerous things. Fence sitter, a professional victim, and a manipulator. Well, that was pretty good, but... I want to talk about Boogie's fence sitting because it will become relevant later. You see, Boogie has a pattern to him, at least on Twitter. You see, Boogie will say something that he knows is going to draw draw a lot of people's like anger and attention and you know he's gonna get backlash for it. Then he'll he'll double down on it for a little bit, but then when he realizes that he's not gonna gonna win the argument for lack of a better term, he'll then walk back his statements or he'll say something like, I never said this, even though he did, and will proceed to delete tweets. Which, I'm sure it makes us very annoying for you. Yes, it does. It makes my job very difficult. But, I have ways. Well, that's good. I remember when he made those moronic tweets about comedians and offensive jokes. He has since deleted these tweets. But I was able to find them. Thankfully, I read Alex's screenshots of them in his video. Link his video in the description of this one. Yeah, I know how to YouTube, bro. Anyway, here are the tweets. Hot take, time to lose some followers. Comedians should be able to say anything like Lenny Bruce did, probably. But you aren't Lenny Bruce or even a comedian. Most of you are weirdos on Twitter, calling other people names. Those aren't even jokes, fuck off. Seriously? Uh, who gets to decide who is a comedian and who isn't? How can you prove someone isn't joking? Anyone should be able to say anything, right? It gets worse. I gotta say, Boogie, this is one of the worst takes on this topic I've seen. Sorry, man. I am tired of people pretending they are funny when they are just mean. Makes actual comedians look bad. It's okay to be mean, just stop claiming you are funny. Humor is subjective though. You cannot say something is objectively funny or not. There are people that find South Park funny and there are people who don't. Most comedy in all honesty is mean or like someone or something is at the butt of the joke. And that's fine, comedy is meant to poke fun at people and things. I mean that's what satire is, it pokes fun at the absurdity of like modern day things and this can include politicians to people in general to technology anything really a comedy is one of those things that you can't put a limit really you shouldn't put a limit on any art but comedy is one of those things where if you do it it's very noticeable and very bad and the comedy usually comes out being unfunny to virtually everyone there is more but you have addressed his major argument already of course when he saw the backlash he got over this boogie removed the thread this is the boogie cycle he will say something controversial double down and then backpedal and play the victim. He was in trouble earlier for advocating for locking people up for hate speech and misgendering. His tweets on this have mostly been purged as well, but some of them still remain. Good lord, this is a lot of tweets. <sighs> Alright Jeff, get the Gatorade. I'm gonna give me some monster for this bullshit. There's a reason I'm going through this stuff, because it highlights a problem with Boogie that I think contributed to his rant during the stream. My thoughts exactly. Alright, let's do this. My original assessment of locking people up for verbal threats and stuff seems to have been unpopular. You advocated to lock people up for hate speech and misgendering people. Hate speech is protected by the First Amendment and was declared so by the Supreme Court. Locking people 
up for hate speech and misgendering? Does he realize how easy a law like that could be twisted and used on him? Or anyone for that matter? It gets worse. This is why I don't talk about this stuff. People like this take it and spin it. I said no one should go to jail for accidental misgendering. A slap on the wrist for doing it purposely. Jail time for verbal assault. And I mean like a drunk tank, not prison. What is verbal assault? Is that like cussing someone out or something? Because we all guilty of that. Hell, we've cussed each other out. Yep, let's keep going. This tweet is unavailable. Yo, as much as I agree that people that use hate speech are awful people, I think locking anyone up for saying anything is a terrible, terrible precedent. Holy yikes on that. Unless you are putting someone in danger slash threatening people, we absolutely can't lock someone up for speech. This tweet is unavailable. The problem with locking someone up for hate speech, and I'm specifically talking about offensive speech, if you're actually threatening people, then this can head into felony territory, is where, you, where do you draw the line? What if someone is offended by something a comedian says? Depends on context. I think hate speech context almost always looks and sounds like verbal assault. If you're verbally assaulting someone and using their identity to do it, then that's hate speech to me. Get locked the fuck up for that, right away. He keeps doubling down on this verbal assault thing, and as the other person pointed out, hate speech is protected speech under the First Amendment. Does he want to override that? He literally wants people to get locked up for forcefully misgendering someone. That's bullshit. I have more. Show me. But I think most comedians on a stage in a club probably have the right to tell jokes. If they verbally assault a patron due to their identity, then lock them the fuck up. Totally lost me on this one, Boogie. The main reason is because the activism here is one-sided. White people have been getting lots of shit lately just because they are white, and that's 100% acceptable. I'm not buying this bullshit until it's evenly distributed. That is a good point. You can, and people do, say some of the most awful things about white people, and men, but do that to anyone else, and all of a sudden you're horrible. Yep, and he's saying if they verbally assault someone, they need to go to jail. You know, I'm starting to think he's talking about his haters. Wow, y yeah, I, I can definitely see that. Especially when he keeps saying, lock them the fuck up, in all caps. Like, it seems like this is coming from a personal place, and if you're writing it's his haters, I mean, that makes sense. Like, why you think it's his haters, it probably is. But let me guess, there's more to this, isn't there? But wait! There's more! Et tu, Boogie? Sorry man, it's been a lifetime being verbally assaulted. Online, real life, by my own family. I got no room for that shit in my life. I got no problem with jokes. But I have a very big issue with verbal assault. What constitutes as verbal assault? Who gets to decide? This tweet is unavailable. Absolutely not from misgendering, especially not accidentally. Getting a ticket for purposely doing it over and over? Sure. Are those unavailable tweets from Boogie? Do you know, Detective? I do not know. Alright. Um, so, the second tweet, well, his response to Dankula, you can tell he's already playing a victim card. He's talking about he's been verbally assaulted online, real life, by his own family. Which, I'm pretty sure the, the own family one and online and all that stuff is true. But the fact that he's using that as, like, a motivation to literally throw people in jail and get, I guess, Dankula agrees with him. That's some victim complex bullshit. That's some emotional manipulation. And Dankula asked the point that that we've been asking, reading this thread this whole time. What is verbal abu abuse? <laughs> I said, almost said verbal abuse. What the fuck is that? Ugh, I gotta stop drinking. Anyway, uh, Dankula asked him what is verbal abuse and who gets to decide, which is exactly my fucking point. And he doubles down, but at the same time, he backpedals a bit from locking them up to instead giving them a ticket. Like Detective pointed, you can already see the boogie cycle starting to kick in. If you expand the thread, you can see more of this conversation with Dankula. What constitutes this verbal abuse? Who gets to decide? I honestly don't know. Probably a court of our peers? It's obviously very complicated, I get that. It's a dangerous place to be, man. I dealt with the exact same stuff growing up and now, and I wouldn't want to restrict the person's right to speak, to protect feelings. And I understand that entirely and you are absolutely welcome to feel that way. I'm not even saying that you are right and that I am wrong or vice versa. I'm just saying we should not put up with verbal assault. I don't understand the point of it. If someone doesn't like you and they say it to you in a hateful way and you get them arrested over it, will it change that person's opinion of you? Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Absolutely not, but it might very well have, sorry, but it might very well save my life if that person had the intention to harm and the verbal assault was a precursor to it. I don't care about changing minds. 
I care about not being hurt. And I care about not about others not being hurt. So, you want to throw people in jail because they say something mean to you and it might lead to them doing something physically to you? That's a thought crime, dude. Like, it's one thing if they actually threaten you and said, I'm going to kill you, and you want them locked up for that. That makes sense because you actually just threatened the person's life. But there he goes, playing the victim. So because someone upsets you or hurts you emotionally with words, the law needs to get involved. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious, Boogie? Dude, I don't know why this is complicated for you, so I'm gonna try one last time to explain it. Jokes? Fine. Disagreement? Fine. Debate? Fine. Thinking bad shit? Fine. Saying bad shit? Fine. Personally threatening and attacking me? Not fine. Why is that fine to you? You said verbal assault. That's an extremely broad term. Some people consider calling someone an idiot verbal assault. Death threats or incitement? I have an understanding of. The reason it's complicated for me is because that's not what you said. Oh, once again, what I clearly meant may not have been what I said. Lock people up for verbal assault, full stop. Everything else in my books is fine. So now he's being condescending to Dankula and saying personally threatening and attacking him is not fine. My question is, what does he mean by attacking? Like, is he lumping in criticism or is it like verbally attacking him? Whatever that means? Does he mean like physical assault? Because I'm, that's already illegal, like that goes without saying. And notice his last tweet, he once again repeats that verbal assault equals jail time. Data Detective, what the hell does he mean by this? Part of the tweet was cut off. Here's a full version. He gives a definition. Verbal abuse. Verbal abuse is when a person forcefully criticizes, insults, or denounces someone else. Characterized by underlying anger and hostility. It is a destructive form of communication intended to harm the self-concept of the other person and produce negative emotions. Forceful criticism. Well shit, you just sent the entire YouTube platform to jail. Thank you, Kate. F forceful criticism, like what the hell does that even mean? Does that mean like unwanted criticism? Because as Kate just said, um, practically all of YouTube, the whole commentary community, is going to prison. Like this definition could lump in someone telling someone off as verbal abuse. Is it illegal to be rude to someone and cuss them the fuck out? Or hurt their feelings now, Boogie? Because that's what this definition up here is saying. Yeah, I now see why you were saying this is more about his haters than anything. How does this argument end, by the way? I do not know for certain. It was resolved in their DMs, so I cannot see this information. Unless someone has leaked these DMs. Clearly meant, but not what you said. Forgive me for not being able to read your mind. In fact, going with that definition, I better not criticize you more than that. Apparently means I should be locked up. I love you, man. I think you are smarter than this tweet, and you are being purposely cruel. But I do not want you locked up for this, obviously. Disagreeing with you and debating against your point is cruel? Wow. Not at all. Maybe I'm reading into it, but it felt like me, you were warping what I said. If that's not the case, please accept my apologies. Love you. DMs you, by the way, to discuss out of the public eye since I lost this debate so fiercely, lol. Would love to talk to you privately about it. Check DMs. Dankula is cruel. From what I can see, he was respectful and pointing out the flaws in what Boogie wanted to do. I wish I knew what was said in the DMs, but whatever. We spent a lot of time going through this man's tweets. But the point I want to make is this. Boogie does not like being criticized. As we can see when Dankula pressed him, he tried to make it out like Dankula was attacking him. And going through this thread, it's obvious he didn't appreciate having his ideas torn to shreds and being shown in public. I guess that's why he took it to the DMs, so that way people couldn't see him get absolutely destroyed. He also made about himself when it came to the verbal assault. A common trick of an emotional manipulator. Speaking of that, I have found more of this. On June 6, 2019, Boogie had a conversation with another Twitter user called I Have Soul. This is a very lengthy thread, but several things stick out to me when I was looking at this thread for research, including repeatedly talking about committing suicide and very obviously using that to try and manipulate I Have Soul. Oh, I watched a video of someone reading this. I'll link their vid below. The vid was two hours long. Good fucking lord, man. That's a lot. The screenshots are very lengthy, too. Several times in these DMs, he continues to talk about suicide, and even name drops Etika too. I will show some DMs here, but include the link in your vid description. 
Yeah, dude, I got it. And after I am dead, use these logs, okay? Promise me you will, you will, but only after I die. I'm not Turkey Tom or TRO. I'm not in this for the T. IDK, who those people are, do they make videos about me? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely suicide baiting. Uh, keep going. I wish I could do that, then I wouldn't have to die, but I can't be that person. I can't live that kind of lie. Anyways, you have my word that this will remain between us. Well, please pretend to feel I am a wife-beating kid fucker. I would never encourage you to lie, but this is one lie fan. Serve the greater good. So please consider it. Thank you for talking to me. I would do as I see fit for the video. I think the stuff about you is true because I've seen it firsthand. Of course, I'm not referring to any of your past actions. If I was that person, I would want me dead too. I don't blame you for feeling that way. I don't want you dead. Can't you see what you're doing? I have lived with an emotional manipulator. And while they never tried using suicide to get me to do what they wanted, they will try to make you feel sorry for them and make you feel pity towards them or guilt in order to get you to do what they want. This is getting creepy, man. I am not a chronic manipulator, though. But if you believe what Reddit says about me, I guess you would believe that. I guess you think I am manipulated. <laughs> Sorry, he, wow, his grammar, his spelling is terrible. I am my impulsing you now. However, do you think it's healthy to surround yourself with a cocoon of endless reassurance? A hive mind of yes men who cannot criticize you? Do you think that that is what is best for you? I just saw your tweet and need to talk. No manipulation intended, sorry. You have a lot more sway in people's lives than you think. And I know you know this. Not anymore. Ray took that away from me. My career is over. You're not stupid. All I wanted to say was this, pay close attention. I have no idea what he's trying to say here. Um, my birthday in July, you will be really happy. You will be really happy, I promise it. Fucking hell, man. He says he's not a chronic manipulator, but he keeps talking about suicide. Could either try and soften a blow and make this person feel bad. Let's continue. On my birthday, I'm doing something really big. It's a gonna make everyone really happy. My fans and my haters too, you are gonna love it, especially Reddit. I just want to go to one last VidCon and say goodbye to everyone and see my fans one last time. I see, so you're shutting your channel down then? But it's what everyone wants from me, and it's really gonna help a lot of people. Despite what you say, there are people who will miss you. Yeah, after this etiquette situation, it's really obvious that I gotta do, and I was already planning it. Oh, I get it, so you're planning to follow the same route then? Are you just trying to get me to back off by hitting? at a suicide attempt. All right, we need to stop right here before I actually get pissed off. Cause I'm reading this shit and this is exactly like the emotional manipulators that I know and have dealt with before. This is the exact kind of shit they will do. They will make everything, first of all, they'll make everything about them. Then they'll make it out like everyone is against them. And if that fails, they'll get angry and get aggressive with you to try and get you to do what they want. And as the thread continues, he gets more and more passive aggressive with it and just pisses me off but if he was talking about this year's vidcon that's already gone and passed so he didn't delete his channel and he didn't kill himself so if you meant this year's vidcon he was clearly baiting that shit out and saying to try and get iso to do what he wanted or to go easy on him and if he means next year's it still doesn't change the fact that he's mentioning this shit now just to try and manipulate iso and doing what he wants and the fact that you fucking name dropped Etika, who, if you don't know, was a guy who basically he had a break and snapped and committed suicide. And Boogie clearly put that in there to evoke an emotional reaction out of soul, which is despicable as hell. And again, another trait of an emotional manipulator. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this guy is a fucking scumbag. Yeah. You all should definitely read the entire thing. Um, or if you'd rather like hear it read aloud, Jay Longbone did a video about it that I'm gonna link in the description. Like I said, it's two hours, and that shit is fucked up. Agreed, but let us talk about this World of Warcraft rant. This segment in particular has been deleted, and it was tricky to find it on YouTube. There were some people who had clicked parts of it, but a channel named Val Blacks has the entire rant unedited on his channel. All right, let's get to the main fucking event. Boogie, I don't get why you get so much crap. You have hard on life. 
as it is, but especially when you have done so much good and helped so many people. P.S. I love you, no homo. Um, I think I can answer that question, um, and it's, it's complicated. But I think the most important thing to remind you is that I have made more than my fair share of mistakes. I have said some stupid shit. There's no arguing that I have said some stupid and regrettable shit. So for the people who only hate me for that reason, you can stop watching now. We're done. You hate me because I said and done some stupid, regrettable shit. That is why a lot of people hate me. Okay, so far it's not too terrible, but he digs himself into a hole. But there's also a group of people out there who f like to hate on what's popular to hate on. Your wings of redemptions, your dark side fills. Um, they just like to hate on what's popular, and recently it's become popular to hate on me. You know, he's actually really similar to Wings and DSP. Both of them are always playing the victim, the channels are dying, and they e-bag too. And they treat their fans like shit, so it's not far off. No, it really isn't. So he's claiming that people are hating him because it's popular to hate him? I'm sure there are some people that, you know, are doing that. Probably. I don't know. But I feel like that's a way to deflect criticism because it wouldn't be popular to hate on you if there wasn't a reason to hate on you. Bruh, he gets worse. Which is fine because I've said and done some stupid shit. Um... And so you got you got those guys too. You got the sheep, for the lack of a better word, the people who are just like, oh, this is a guy to hate. I've never heard of this guy before, but if we're all hating on him, I hate him too. Don't forget, I hate him too. So a lot of your haters are sheep and hate you just because, is that right? Sure, that's totally what's going on. It's not like you do shitty things like emotionally manipulate people and suicide bait and put out takes that piss people off and then you either double down or you backtrack or you claim you never fucking said it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's totally not why people hate you. It's just it's just because people are told to. That's why. These are the people I despise. If I'm being honest with you, these are the people I dislike. And if I look down on you, and you look down on me, but I look down on you, you must be a real piece of shit if I look down on you. Would you agree, guys? If I look down on you, you must be a real fucking loser if someone like me or dark side phil or wings of redemption looks down on you you must be one of the worst pieces of shit alive am i wrong am i wrong so this third group is a group that i look down on this third group is a look that wings of redemption and dark side phil we all look down on this group of people they are human fucking trash and these are the people who take things out of context. They take something someone tweeted, something someone said, and tries to make it look worse than it really is for the purposes of just destroying somebody's life. If you are this person, and you know who you are, it might be difficult to reconcile that you are that person. But if you are that person, I ask you a favor. Please keep doing it to me. Don't do it to other people. Let me be a martyr here. Martyr me. Okay, sorry for that long clip, but I wanted you to get the full context. Also, his narcissism is showing, and so is his victim complex. He claims he wants to be a martyr for people that, I guess, get hate on or hate people on the internet. I don't fucking know where he's going with this. And it's just like, really? Get your ego in check, dude. Yeah, what you said. Definitely sounds like narcissism. I'm gonna stay online. I'm gonna stay alive as long as I can. I'm gonna waste as much of your time as you can. I'm gonna say as much shit and do as much shit as I can to keep your attention so you don't do it to somebody else. I'm here for you to torture me and only me. I'm gonna make a living letting you torture me. Torture? What the fuck? Does he think people are hating on him is torture now? I'm sorry, what? I I'm... That just threw me for a loop, dude. What the fuck? This just got weird. But he's about to go off the deep end. I'm gonna be the next Dark Side Phil. I'm gonna be the next Wings of Redemption. I'm gonna spend every day online to keep you fucking busy so you don't do it to somebody else. So bring it. 
But I want you to know, I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. Bruh. So you think rapists and Nazis are better than internet trolls? Are, are, is he serious? I wish I could say this was a troll moment and that he was you know, just fucking with his audience and 10 minutes later he said, psych, I'm just fucking with y'all. But no, he legitimately thinks this, at least before he doubled down and then backpedaled like a motherfucker like he always does. Wh where do we even start with that, man? Like, do we even need to say anything? Nazis and rapists are more redeemable than someone trolling you online because they believe what they're do- uh, What? How does that make them better? I mean, trolls- they just gonna fuck with you for the lows. Like, they, they doing it to get a laugh and get a rise out of you. Now, there are some trolls that are really malicious and go too far. That is a thing. Like, um, like when the people doing that guy, uh, Draken Lord, um, you know, showing up to his house and breaking his windows and shit. That's a little too far. But, you tell me when they just type mean comments against you, try and get a rise out of you. They're harmless. I mean, I'd rather deal with that shit than a rapist or an actual Nazi any fucking day. I don't know where the hell you at, dude. Like, how how is that worse than how is an internet troll worse than raping people or killing moons people for um um uh, edgy what's that what's that word starts with the e ethnicity yeah that one holy shit he really went off the deep end dude he's not done they may be pieces of garbage they may be pieces of shit they may harm other people but at least they believe what they fucking stand for you stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. Even a disgusting piece of shit rapist is better than you. Even a piece of shit racist garbage Nazi is better than you. You are the worst. This is Rich coming from a guy who backpedals every time he gets criticism. Fucking Keemstar of all people summed this up really well. Boogie, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? You said that the trolls online and the harassers online are worse than rapists and Nazis? What? And then of course you get called out on this and you spin it to, oh no, I wasn't talking about that. Uh, I was I was talking about the uh, the people that harassed and uh, I killed Christina Grimmie. That's what I was talking about. Okay, well, that person killed one person and that was pretty messed up, but you're saying you would rather talk to Nazis who killed 7 million people. What? Boogie, we have spent our time and energy for months and months and months to help you because you were going through a hard time. We've went out of our way to help you privately and you keep saying dumb shit. You keep saying or doing dumb shit that will cause people to call you out, make a Reddit post, make an angry tweet, unsub from your channel. Now I know that you've openly admitted that you have mental issues, but a cycle is going on here. And this is my theory, and I think maybe you need to talk to your counselor. I think you are obsessed with feeling attacked, right? And, and playing the victim. I think this is something that's comfortable to you. And like, when you get to the state where nobody's harassing you and everything's cool and everything's good, you go out of your way and you're like, oh, this, this doesn't feel right. This is not, I, I don't even feel like myself anymore. I must be attacked. And you say dumb shit knowing it's gonna cause people to attack you. Like, I, I something mentally is going on where you are self-sabotaging and trying to get people to harass you because that's the only way you feel like you are you. I can't blame Reddit for making posts about you. I can't blame people on Twitter for making tweets about you. And I can't blame anyone for unsubbing to you because you keep saying dumb shit. I'm gonna stand my ground, even though you deleted like six tweets. Get your shit together. I have lost my sympathy for you because you are fucking up. You're not even trying. I don't know what to tell you, man. I screwed up. Um, I wasn't talking about trolls. I wasn't talking about people who make mean internet comments. I was talking about people like 
the person who killed Christina Grimmie or the person who tried to kill Meg and Gavin or the people who SWAT people or show up at your front door and openly harass you. I was talking about those people. But regardless, saying that they were worse than Nazis or rapists was obviously a very stupid thing to say. I do still condemn those pieces of shit, but I, I definitely do not, obviously comparing them to Nazis was a stupid thing. Even he sees the boogie cycle. I just like the way Boogie says you stand for nothing. Like why does he say it like that? It's so weird. I don't know. But if you look up spineless in the dictionary, Boogie is Boogie is right next to that because like I said, dude backpedals like a motherfucker. Like he'll say something that I'm pretty sure he actually believes, but then when he realizes people don't agree with him, he backpedals. He's obsessed with trying to get like everyone to like him and that's not the case, ever. That's actually a bad thing to do, because... I'll use video games as an example. So, you'll have this happen where a, a niche game becomes popular because it gets a niche crowd and it gets sizable. So then the devs decide they want to expand and make the game for everyone. And eventually, you dilute the game to the point where it loses what drew the original fans to it. And you end up a husk of what you originally were. Boogie is trying to do that, and I feel like that's a detriment, because... A, this is the internet. B, we're talking about people here. People are, people are different. Not everyone is gonna like you. Just like not everyone's gonna like my YouTube channel. Hell, I don't expect most people like my YouTube channel to be perfectly honest with you. But I know there are people who do. But anyways, that covers up. That covers the drama. But if you want to see Boogie's backpedal on this, watch the entire Bow Blacks video. I think it's another Bow Blacks. I think I'm gonna link it in the description because he he doubles down on Twitter. Then he backpedals and tries to say stuff like, I never said this, but he clearly did. And we have the receipts and Bob Black shows the receipts. So, yeah, go check that video out. I believe my work here is done. Yeah, I think it is. Nice job, though. So, uh, what do we do now? Play some Code Vein? Watch a horror movie? Why not both? Fuck it. Yeah.